All right, welcome to The Art of Code. I'm gonna be introducing you to a language called Processing, which was really created to let artists express themselves in an online way. So here's just some examples of what Processing looks like. It's so amazing. And this is just visuals. You can also create games and um, music visualizers and lots of different ways you can use Processing. So, um, before I dive into it, I just want you to know that we have a variety of tool tutorials on processing, and there's two versions of processing. One version is uh, processing, and you it's something you can actually download, um, or you can use a, a sketch tool. And the great thing about this is it's got this reference library, so you can go and look at all the commands. And then there's also something called P5JS, which is built on processing, um, but on top of JavaScript. So it's only an online editor that you use, um, but also it has a great reference library. So if some of the syntax is slightly off, depending on what tutorial you're watching and which editor you're using, you know, go find your reference for that particular editor and um, you should be in good shape. I am using um, P5JS editor and the syntax in this particular example. So the first uh, challenge is to create a face. And this is a code that we're going to use to do it. Before we go see what the code does, let's just look at it a little bit. So if you've never seen processing before, like this could look a little bit like gobbledygook. And so let's kind of break it down. The first thing we can recognize is there's really two main things going on. There's this function setup and there's this function draw. And luckily the commands give us a pretty good idea. Setup is gonna create a canvas, 500 by 400, so perhaps dimensions. And then this function is gonna draw something. It's gonna draw something with a stroke and a fill and then some shapes, uh, some ellipses and some rectangles. And then we can get into what uh, fill does. So the hint over here, fill RGB. So red, green, blue. And these numbers can go from zero all the way off to 255. So what would be your guess that the stroke is gonna be? We're gonna see if you're right when we get there. And then we have a fill color, which is different. And then we have these shapes. So the shapes, um, at least the ellipse and the rectangle have this format. It's x-coordinate, y-coordinate, width, and height. So x-coordinate, y-coordinate, width, and height. That's what those are. All right, so we're just going to copy this over and see what it actually does. Um, I can get rid of the code that's here because I'm not going to be using that. And I click play to see what happens. All right, so it's sort of a face, but it's on its side. So this setup did create this canvas for me that's 500 by 400. And then this draw, uh, did you guess white as the stroke? So yeah, when all the colors are on, it's white. And if they're all off, if those were all zero, it would be black. And then you can do you know, any color combination in between. Uh, fill, I guess is sort of this peach color. And then we have a, one ellipse that's this, this this X and Y position. Um, in processing, your X and Y start out zero in the top left-hand corner, and then X goes positive to the right, and Y goes positive down. So um, that's the X, Y, and then 300 by 300 is that width and height. The others you can see are 70 by 70. So the 300 by 300 is a big one. The two little ellipses that are 70 by 70 are that. And then we have this rectangle that really should be a mouth, so it's not facing the right way. So instead of being able to just drag and drop with your mouse, we have to code this to get it right. So the first thing I think I want to do is get this eye up here. So we have this X coordinate. That's the same place. And then we have one's at 200, so that would be this one. And the other one is at 100, that would be this one. So I'm going to make them both at 100. It looks like I lost one of the eyes, but it just wrote on top of it because they're exactly the same. So now I need to move one of these eyes to the right. And that's when I'm going to use my X coordinate to add 
one of them. All right, so now I've got it moved around. And I still want to make, you know, some little adjustments. Like, I think maybe that's too high for both of them. Maybe go to 90. Oh, nope. I went up, not down. I have to add to go down. There we go. And I still might move them to the right a little bit. Uh, and then I got to figure out how to get this rectangle to go this way. I'm not going to do it for you, but I'm just going to give you a hint at look at those X, Y coordinates. And then finally, maybe I'd like some different colors happening between, um, you know, have the head be one color and the mouth be another color and the eyes be another color. One of the ways you can do that is you can just experiment with it. But there's also this color picker that you can go to and pick out eyes. So I want to pick out some nice green eyes. So that's my uh, coordinates. 28. Oh, actually, I should just be able to copy them. Let's try that. So the eyes are here. Nice. All right. And then maybe I want a different, maybe more of a red color for the mouth. And that would go on the one right above. So you can see that this is running this code in this order, right? So it's in this order. So if I had put the green up here, then it would have done the mouth that instead of the eyes. If you get done with this and you want some more challenge with this one, you could think about adding a hat, um, adding a nose. Like this is, could be sort of a nose and you can add a mouth, maybe some ears and an earring, a necklace. Um, anyway, when you're done with this challenge, take a screenshot because that's really the only way you can save this and add it to your challenge. Good luck.